Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to look at the magical college harem adventure, Lust Academy, available for PC, Mac, and Steam Deck on Steam, and for Android on their Patreon. I know it may shock you all to hear it, but college harem games are extremely popular in our space. Add in a magical university and great renders, and it is no surprise that Lust Academy is one of the top new releases of 2022 on Steam. However, there are actually a lot of really well thought out features in this title that make it more than just a combination of the most popular flavors. From being able to play the game as an open world sandbox or as a visual novel, to the ability to completely disable certain flavors or leave them open. This game can be tailored to a larger than normal selection of genre and flavor preferences. Graphically, this game is beautiful. The renders and backgrounds are a sometimes baffling mix of fantasy and modern, but they all look great. The soundtrack is amazing, and the sexual interactions are animated with some sounds, and they look fantastic. There are a ton of flavors in this male protagonist harem adventure, including romance, humiliation, humor, monsters, monster girls, lesbian, voyeurism, group, fantasy, feat, and power exchange. There's also optional femdom, male homosexual, and futanari content. The only thing more that I could have asked for was a playable female character but I understand that would basically double the total number of rendered images. Now I know that this game is marketed as Harry Potter in college, even one of the main characters looks like Hermione, but the story and feel of the game is much more in line with the Magician series by Lev Grossman. The books, not the TV show. This is more of a mature narrative that feels like a mystery than a slice of life coming of age experience. I highly recommend that you play the game in sandbox mode, you have the option to play through the main plot and the mini-games, as well as interact with the planned 25 romanceful characters in both versions. The sandbox mode just offers so much more to experience than if you chose to play as a visual novel. As with many games that give you the option to pursue or not pursue the various romanceful characters, the plot can feel a little vague or lackluster at times. The campus of Cordale Academy of Magic and Wizardry feels empty, as there are very few students that you ever see but there are all these unoccupied rooms and unused place settings. When you explore your new magical world on the weekends, I'm pretty sure that the laws that everyone is supposed to follow seem to change from scene to scene. Or at least the developer, Bear in the Night, isn't some slavery apologist whose novels seem to obsess over torturing children. So if you're looking for a magical college harem experience with fantastic renders and animations, or if you're looking to scratch that Harry Potter itch until Hogwarts Legacy comes out, I highly recommend giving Lust Academy a shot. But seriously, play it in sandbox mode. Otherwise, you'll miss out on so much, including the wizard version of Instagram. Oh wow. What do you think the magical world versions of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are? Or did South Park already answer that question for us? Either way, let me know what you think, and till next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all. 